Hello everyone, this is Michael Graham again, and now I'm going to show you how to replace a servo on your Nano CPX. First thing you want to do is get the canopy off. This, thing, this makes things a lot easier because you can actually see what you're doing. And let's say you have a, let's say your aileron servo, you've damaged it in a crash. I mean, it could be a number of reasons, but let's say you need to replace it. First thing you want to do is pop off the link and pull it off of the servo and set that off to the side. Now before you go any further, you want to look at the wires coming off of the, of the servo and see where they go on the board. Now this particular servo goes to this connector. So what you want to do first is actually take off, is disconnect the connector. You need to do this very carefully as it's very easy to break the connector off of the board or break the wires. So take your time on this part, as I'm doing here, because you kind of want to work it back and forth. All right, and now we have it off. And you want to carefully guide the connector around the wire so that it does not get tangled up until it's free. Now at this point, you want to take your Phillips head screwdriver and remove the two screws holding on, holding the servo in place. And at that point in time, I'm going to take the screws out and set them aside so they don't fall away somewhere. At that point in time, the servo simply comes right off. Set, set out your damaged servo and grab a replacement. And you simply Put it back into place, and you take the screws that you removed. This may, be, this may be a little bit difficult for people who have big hands, such as myself, but you want to carefully put the screws back in place. What I like to do is I like to put the screw on the tip of the screwdriver and then use my fingernail to hold it on to the screwdriver. This really helps in terms of positioning the screw without it falling off. However, if your hand's too big, you might not be able to get into where you need to get. But here, I'm able to get the screw in. Now what you want to do, you want to take, um, if your hands are small enough, you can use your hands. Uh, my hands aren't, so I like to use a needle nose pliers. And I like, and now I'm going to guide the servo lead to the connector on the board. And then you want to make sure that's, that that is fully seated and pushed all the way in. And then finally, you want to take the swash plate linkage, reattach it. You want to attach it to the top hole on the servo, and then attach it to the swash plate. And then finally, simply replace the canopy. And that concludes replacing your servo on the Nano CPX.